sitting in a small boat with 22 other migrants, lashed by driving rain and heaving waves, Abdullah Al Badri thought he was going to drown in the English Channel. The 27-year-old Bedouin from Kuwait had been travelling across Europe for four years, a stateless refugee looking for a new home. It was really not easy to go in the boat, and I was saying to myself, what's going to happen? I'm going to die like the child from Syria. I will... He says he was born without citizenship, unable to access essential services such as health care, open a bank account or claim other rights. Many people among the nomadic Bedouin tribes failed to acquire citizenship when Kuwait became independent in 1961. Authorities in Kuwait and other Gulf states say many stateless people are illegal residents and include immigrants who hid or destroyed their passports to claim nationality and take advantage of financial benefits granted to citizens. Unable to get a passport, his family paid smugglers $20,000 to facilitate his travel over the next four years, starting with a flight to Turkey on falsified documents. He travelled to Belgium where he stayed for two years before his refugee claim was rejected, then on to Switzerland and France to begin what he hoped was his final journey to Britain. He now awaits an interview with immigration officials to determine his refugee status. If refused, he believes he would be deported. The British government says it wants to make the country less attractive to asylum seekers. Under proposed legislation, those trying to enter illegally would face up to four years in prison. El Bedri says he did not know the journey was illegal. This man, who took the same sea journey six weeks earlier, says he did know, but felt he had no choice. Three times I was in jail. Just for that reason, I am gay. He asked Reuters not to identify him for fear of repercussions for his family in Iraq. A police officer came into my room in jail. Uh, he slapped it too much to my face and fighting with me and he told me we will tell to your family you are gay and uh, when they know you are gay they will kill you. Iraq's government says it is committed to guaranteeing rights for all minority groups but its largely conservative society generally frowns upon homosexuality. Now in England he is awaiting an interview to assess his refugee status. He is also improving his language skills and hopes to work as an interpreter. Finally I can't say I found my way. I am in safe, safe, safe country. And this country, they have a freedom.